for LaSalle. That is, it hits the umpire. Davinsky almost threw it into center field, and Laz Diaz gets drilled. Up up on that 2 0 pitch. Morrison and Smith had a little entanglement down there at first base. And so the runner at first is going to be called. He's being waved in. Here's the throw. The tag. It comes loose. And he's safe. It came free. I think he had tagged him, but he dropped the baseball. He did. And they got a call. Cut a little capper foul. Right off here by a dome. <laughs> wow. How do you do that? <laughs> you have to be like, what? What? DD. So he is out and a base hit for Headley. That was headed to right field. Would have been first and third. A little bit of wall rising up very high and it is bounding back to Ben and It bounces right by him. Tula Whiskey. What is he doing? He stopped at first base and he may have gotten deeped on that. First pocket. Another thing I've never seen before. <laughs> Watch this. It hits way out in front of home plate. Bounces up and now it's just disappeared. Where's it at? Where's it at? That ball hit hard. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. It will. You can. Put it on the ball. Yes. I wonder what we do between innings. We don't do this. We probably should, though. Terry, take care of those balloons. Thank you, Juan. Party pooper. That's a good lid. <laughs> Two good lids. Yeah. A little bit warm for a lid like that right now, isn't it? Now Bob Davidson is hearing it from the Giants dugout. Oh no, he's hearing it from the stands. He is actually going to eject a fan. And when was the last time you saw that happen? I guess it's fair to say that you never know what you're going to see when you walk inside the Pirate Clubhouse on game day. And earlier today we saw Starling Marte playing the accordion. Felipe Ribeiro actually owns the accordion, and so. Uh -oh. And there's a long drive to deep left. If it's fair, it's gone. Foul. Foul ball. And that is completely out of the ballpark. It's on its way to. Escobar in on the grass at third. The pitch fouled out of Suzuki's mitt. <laughs> nice grab by uh, home plate umpire Dale Painter Dubuque. Ball landed right in his hand. And now trying for third is Altair. And he is out. Great play by Cabrera. As Altair tried to take the extra base down by five runs. Strike one with fireworks going off in center field. And Peterson, that was a free strike. He got out of the batter's box. And I don't know what Ted Barrett's supposed to do about it. And that one knocks the glove right off Kurt Suzuki. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> Array of a buck and a half in his 26 games with the Indians. That's fouled back. You can see why Miller's so tough, besides the fact that he just has great stuff. Um. He's going to get a base hit. Pitcher never even moved toward first base. Playing right out of his belt. So apparently, Jock Jones, the assistant hitting coach, gave up his belt to Bryce Harper. He hit eighth last night after the first pitch. Oh! oh, oh, oh. That's the first one of the day. <laughs> I mean, right out of the gate with toothpick, mind you. With <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic and not a surprise whatsoever. It's a future Hall of Famer, sir. Consider yourself honored. He has <laughs> throws it to first. My goodness, Bell wasn't looking, and Andrew Knapp is going to come all the way around and score. You got to be kidding me. What? What, yes. what just happened? <laughs> Fans are roaring. There's a squirrel out in right field. Most players aren't afraid of squirrels, but this one's got fire coming out of his nostrils. And that seems to have people a little shaken as everybody's looking at him. Nobody in every incarnation. <laughs> See what happens when you're done with the day's work. <laughs> when Gordon spun, I thought I saw the glove on his hand. No, Ender had it. So we're wondering if that. Um... We're throwing around some numbers. I think Ben said 12 months. You said that's crazy. Right there, partner. Come out of that glove. Oh, uh, there's a reason because it came out of his glove and he was holding it with his bare hand. Good thing he caught that as you're talking. Swung on, fouled back this way and off our protective glass above us. Wow. That boys and girls is what sawed off is referring to. Yeah! 
Drag butt attempt by Galvis and Cole over the over the shoulder. And the behind the back toss to Boone. Last home run hit in this ball game came off the bat of Wellington Castillo, a blast that came here about five rows deep here into left field. And a fantastic catch was made by a Pirates fan holding a baby with his. Oh, oh, off of Shugel's glove. We believe off his glove. He went for the glove instead of the ball. I think he thought the ball might be in the glove. And that'll be out of play off the right field side. What a job. <laughs> she is fried. All right, I got it. This is it. I got this one. <laughs> All right, so this is before the game today during Stratch and BP in a dinosaur suit. George Springer keeping things light for the Astros. He's playing football. Their own Mantis or has the Royal Mantis abandoned the Royals? Look at the K's. They, they're dressing up the K's to resemble the Johnny Cueto look. There isn't a boring. Brick steps off as uh, a bird made his way around the infield yeah, to his left. We have a lost pigeon right by first. He's got a big lead right now. Go in the stretch and pick him off for now. Look at that. He's way off. Murph's chasing him. And then Murphy's got a buddy. The national anthem was played about seven minutes ago, folks. And Carlos Estevez and Carlos Martinez are still standing. At this one's fouled right back here. And into our booth, Al. That almost nailed you. God, if I was paying attention, talking about defense, that yeah. wasn't my my strong. I mean, you. That was like, did that? Did, did that? It, nail I'm told that there was a rain delay. This no. is normally when the game's over and they start uh, <laughs> start chowing down on some of the leftovers in the bleachers. Uh, it's it's dinner time. It's happy hour for them. We got a Hitchcock movie going on in here. Justin Upton just gave that young man a bat. He doesn't know what to do with himself. Good for him. I wouldn't either. Good for him. High fives all the way up. He'll sleep with that bat. Too. By Reynolds, the guy that had the opportunity to catch it, used his dolphin-like hands. <laughs> yep, hands like a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. That's awesome. Getting on one for 11 in this series. A pop up right side. And will it stay in play? No, 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 no. The answer is no. And Jason Hayward had to slide. Over the rally squirrel has appeared. <laughs> I wondered what there was. They got an extra defender. Oh, he tried to go up the up the wall there. What is this right while the pitch is going? Are you kidding me? I don't. I've never seen that. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty excited about getting a foul ball here. I get it. It's an exciting. <laughs> See Miguel Cabrera do that a few times. Feared with the play. He was right there where Goldie was to come in and field this popped up bunt. Oh. Right there's the bird. That's five. Run homer to right field. Lindor stole the base off the pitcher who never well, even looked. And the third baseman who their head was down. Their, their head wasn't in the game. They weren't paying attention. And Contreras 2 2 pitch in the dirt. Hernandez draws the walk. It's 2 2. It's yeah. 3 2. I, I had a 2 2 and then I didn't trust the count. <laughs> Hernandez, I don't blame him. I'd have worked that walk. I thought I <laughs> All out. I was praying that Pirates can score three. Pirates hanging on by a threat. They went into bullpen mode is what they did. They do what guys in the bullpen do. They're having a little dance off competition and costume competition. Now, yeah, now they're breaking out some like they're getting ready to knock off a bank. Nice play by the bat boy. Look at the guy. He's like, oh man, I would have had it. It was coming right to. Who has the better beer? Ellis Eichel or James Harden is in the building. It gets a little out of control, kind of has a mind of its own. Yeah, you could see what Keiko had for lunch yesterday in his beard. <laughs> Drive left center. That's going to be off the wall. Puig on his way to second. Going to be a play, and he is out. Baez tagged him. And you see Baez, who still is the best. At way outside, three and two. Uh, Wilmer, it's four to go to first. Warren's hoping for a play near the dugout. And oh! almost runs into the bad boy and loses the play. Here's a pop up right side. Foul ball. Will it stay in play? Ross is there. And he gets an assist. You know it. It's Star Wars night. 
Long, long ago in a ballpark far, far away, the Braves and the Marlins met. Time given. Good take. That was close. <laughs> I mean, he really had to bear down to lay off of that one. And that's the wildest pitch we've seen since Matt Chico threw one over the... He's not feeling as excited as the other guy. Quite. He's lost about three quarters of his bat in the dugout. Apparently looking for some bite-sized treats. Gets a tip of the cap, Mr. Worley. Animal eats the the bat. Maybe it's some bees or something. Yeah, a swarm of bees all of a sudden. Encarnacion wasn't real pleased with seeing all those bees either. Get out of there quickly. Wow. There is a beach ball loose down the left field line. Not exactly beach weather. That is likely to die an ugly death. A Twins fan sent one to Irvin Santana with his picture on one side and his smell baseball slogan on the other. Maybe if it is good luck, it will uh, kick. Catch that robbed the home run. Watch the bottom of the wall. Washed it. Where do you find a contractor in the Bronx at this hour? Grounds for you guys. Josh throws his bat at the pitch, misses. The bat goes out to second base. No balls and two strikes. Not the first time this year that Josh has thrown his bat at a pitch. Every time he's hit him. And yeah, and I, you know, Abreu gave uh, Lackey a look after the first pitch was in. Another hit batter. Wendell stat right now looking at the pine tar on the bat and saying hey uh, you might want to clean that up. You see what happened there? The Brewers checked Ozuna's. Peralta over the glove of Turner. Tony Perez Chica falls down and stopped Drury at third. <laughs> Unfortunately Tony uh, blew a tire there fell down <laughs> but they're right there. Runs up. <laughs> he ran up and that's what he was looking for. Well, I guess the the theory was run up and try and hit it before it breaks. Hey, yeah. The right side, AJ Reed runs into an officer. Whoops! <laughs> she went the wrong way. She zigged when she should have zagged. Thinks he could make it. He's going to try to get the, over there. Look at him. He's taking off. So Soria threw the ball to Moose. They got it. There he goes. He's going. He's going. So. Derriere that flew right through the camera view. On the last pitch. It's it right, it's right in front of us. There you he see is. It? It's right by our continues to gust here at Fenway. And that's the reason for that timeout right there. And again he has to step out. And dirt swirling around home plate. Couple of times. Back swing got it as well. <laughs> Foul twice. Grounded it right to Kiermeyer. <laughs> Broken bat, little hopper past Hernandez, past Marte, and past Espinosa. It barely got to the outfield grass. Todd Frazier stands on second base, hustling all. Two. Swing and a miss. Should be the third out of the inning, isn't it? Why aren't the Tigers leaving the field? That's the third out. Wow. Nobody knew. Really? Not even the Verlanders are thinking, what in the world? It is. Did it hit the glove first? And I think it did. And uh, cradled by Wilson Contreras. Well, we're wondering if that um, Dal in the uh, Brewers uh, <laughs> dugout. It's a, it's was a hobby to be hobby voodoo. A, a hobby voodoo doll. Finding the sun. Ah, he succumbed to peer pressure. That's better. And that is Whoa. going to be caught on the rebound off the glove of Castro and into Judge's glove for the final out. One of the Olympic gold medalists. Let's check out this move. Pretty amazing that she did all of that and did not throw a scud. I'm just trying to figure out what part of my body. And that one thrown, oh my goodness, it nailed Amaro the throw back home and will not get him as Moreo goes sliding in. Looking for a way out of here. Now the cat is going to have to take a lap. There's no way out over there, right? Oh, oh wow. What? Uh, I don't know. Where is that cat going to go from there, though? Popped him up. 
behind the plate. Easy play for Leon, one down. Well, I don't think I've ever. First unassisted double play by an A's pitcher since Blue Moon Odo back Blue in Moon. 1971. Yeah, Blue Moon was here. So in other words, it only happened once in a blue. Lindor and Baez, who played against each other in high school, were messing around out at second base a moment. Day at Fenway, and as part of the festivities, the Sox have built the David Ortiz model made out of Lego bricks, consisting of approximately 34,510 bricks. It weighs 170 pounds, and it took an S. There's one. Uh, can't change it up much more than that. And Adam Jones, a delayed swing <laughs> that will not be counted as a strike. <laughs> Davis. Welcome back ground ball against the shift and it gets on through for a base hit and how about that a broken bat RBI single and the Orioles get the run back and lead it five to one to me kicked the base a little closer and he was on track he was on schedule he was so close and oh down he goes. <laughs> the grass got him well, that's uh, getting a little laugh at his own expense there he was out on deck what ready to take the turn at bat drop the donut oh, 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 oh. Steven Steven not your turn. It's Pitchers. not like he missed by one. He's the nine hitter. They pose the big question to schools. Can you design a catapult to throw a strike and the first pitch at a Marlins? No, but I'm trying to finish the story and I can't get through it. I told them to show that in case you couldn't get through. The version I had in my mind was way different than what I said because I was distracted by the Nats backup catcher. That's right. And I think Jim Wolf might have thought that was strike three. He did. He punched him out yeah. as if that was a, a call third strike. The umpire lost. Did you see Avila? Salvi got a piece of it somehow and he spun Avila like a top. Second baseman fighting the sun. Lost it. Yes, he just lost safe at first. I am Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States. President in 1908 when the Chicago Cubs last won the World Series. TR, you attend a lot of Cubs games? No, indeed, but I watched my son Quentin play the to Kyle Schwarber who pushes a bump to third and they're going to let it roll. Fair ball. 90 feet of beauty right there. Can you believe it? Will that stay in play? Rizzo and Ross. It's Ross. Getting over. <laughs> And Judge is known to put on a show during batting practice. Today was no exception. Take a look at that shot he hit right into Frank's red hot terrace today. We actually had a witness on the scene. YesNetwork.com's Matt Stucco. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Hold yeah. it. <laughs> the right ear. The bat goes flying on the swing and a miss. Almost got the umpire. That almost got Laz Diaz. Oh, nice move by Laz Diaz. Very dangerous with the bat going down here, but Laz, I'm telling you. Yeah, by that much. Still talking to the uh, the kid in the Angels jersey. Looks like the dad's holding up a Cabrera jersey. Now look, I got the other one. I'll put this one on <laughs> if I get a bat or something. He's, he's gonna take. He's gonna put it on. <laughs> That's a future. Oh my! Sandy went down to his back. Just did get out of the way. Wow, that uh, that was a head shot. <laughs> and there are two outs. In. Where is Lament going? That is out number two. Hey, there's three outs in this league, big boy. Oh boy, come on back. Yeah, I'm sure he won't hear anything from his teammates on that one. Octi knows the camera's on him right there. Look at <laughs> Puig and his tongue have been on display in this postseason. I think he might have. Oh, he did. He knocked it over the fence. Never seen that before. And that handcuffs Suzuki. Crossed him up, and it was probably a strike. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs a glove? Oh, important to have a good cut man in the corner. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Always count on your teammates to bust <laughs> your chops in your time of need. Oh, it's off the bag. He is safe. Yasio Puig, barely getting there, coming off the bag, and then reaching and getting it. Battling, and no one is able to see this, and it actually strikes Correa. And into second base is Mookie Betts. Boy, you talk about bizarre. Everybody lost. It's Tommy the Swordfish from the Superstars. Tommy the Sword and the Fanatic have had a love hate or hate relationship over the years. Although the Fanatic was a little concerned about Tommy the. <laughs> and it's popped out. 
Shift was on. Leak is under it. And who wants it? It's dropped. Oh, it's caught. Molina there with a little smile and the baseball. Just a few moments ago, we had bees yesterday and a pigeon here today. It's been a couple of years since then, as we have some visitors here. Party came to me, so I need to get to and Rondon, a little tapper that hit him out of the box, and he's going to be out. Rondon made contact with the ball out of the batter's box. Can't hit it twice. Foul ground, and Ramirez makes the catch with his back to the plate. Boy, did he go a long way from shortstop to make that grab. Alexei Ramirez. No. About the kid running down with the skies on to take a picture. There's the picture being taken of the Red Sox. They got, nobody knew who it was. Absolutely nobody. Bird, it's a plane. Is it a rally bat? No, it's time to wake up the bats, Wake Jenny. up the bats! I like that. That's because the Rockies only have seven hits tonight. Five to three. The Giants lead the Rockies heading to the top. The debate, as you guys know, inside the clubhouse before the game as to whether or not the hot dog is a sand. Oh, Pikachu found his way onto the field in between innings. The Pokemon Go frenzy has found the fanatic i didn't know the fanatic had an ipad and he ran into las diaz that's what's happening clemens and the umpire forced him to go change it comes up with 91 player go on player there's player two see they're just trying to make sure he feels like he belongs that is great nothing nothing score there and god wow i don't know how he Avoided that one. Oh, breaking ball just kept working its way back towards Pagan. I, I agree with you. I, I don't know how he would get a flooded play by Moss to get it in on one hop and a nice play by Wainwright to get there. Now he throws the tag down. Boy, he looks out there. But the glove comes off as he makes the tag. I don't think that's a legal tag. Good job by Jeff Samarja. Uh oh. Look at Yachty. Go, Yachty. <laughs> You see Yachty trying to go behind the back, that's why Yachty never played basketball. Seven, yeah, 57. That's the slowest breaking pitch in the StatCast era. Those might be fastballs. They're just balls. Uh, yeah, because he's just throwing. <laughs> he's just playing catch. Oh, and yeah, now he's got it going on. And how <laughs> slow is. was that? 55 miles an hour to get him. <laughs> how about that? He Eight o'clock local time, and this is a little darker than twilight, but he lost it. 15th double of the year for Rupp. Ozzy flips one down the right field line. Foul. Oh. Whoa! What happened? Is he all right? Dave Halligan, he's been waiting a long time to do that. Well, Puig's going to be the one to get there. This should be fun. <laughs> he just deflated it with raw strength. He doesn't need spikes. This is a replay on Jock. His ability. It's going to be a routine double play ball. Hit firmly right at Marte. He handles it no problem. And Robbie just forgot the amount of outs. They figured that out pretty. There he goes. He takes oh. off with Colon delivering the pitch home. <laughs> it's a strike. Colon did not realize that Zimmerman had. Keep that throw from Doug Eddings. Yeah, that's that not, was terrible. Not too strong, is it? <laughs> Get out there and throw a couple of bullpens, Doug. Come on. Time out. Watch me unleash the cannon. Boing. <laughs> At least he thought he got the call. And then Bruce Brooks is going, no, 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 I want the left-hander. So Kanto is halfway into the outfield, had to turn around and go back to the bullpen. And it was, oh boy, look at that. Getting ready for a cat night at the ballpark, you know. We, I've been uh, wondering when we're going to have it. Now this is uh, earlier night. today, uh, earlier uh, today. prior to people coming in. Well, it was a uh, pub night. Twins fan sitting down, got the first hop right behind the Twins dugout. <laughs> Rivera's waving him home. He comes to throw to the plate from Piscotti, and he dives over the catcher, Molina, and he's safe. Oh, my Lord. That was an unbelievable play. You'll be seeing that thing on oh, the highlights. Wow. Can't wear the beard part of the beard hat if you're rocking that. I'm not sure if I've seen one quite like that. I mean, that is, uh, that is almost up to the eyelash. It's going to be hard to outdo that one. And how about Sincroni? He doesn't even throw a pitch. Look at Suter coming out here. Sogard is the most surprised person in the building. This is the big leagues. We have more help. Not everybody likes the bird's eye view. <laughs> little eight men out. Little field of drawn here. 
roll reversal. Yes. Yeah, but see, the goatee gives it away. The three-point stance gone. Yeah, he does. Head on a swivel. So does this mean that he's not going to get in today's game? And here's the bump with the runner coming down the line. That ball came way up high on Sucre. Took the helmet right off. Down the left side. That ball hits the ring, deflects back out, and Echevarria, oh, what a catch. Echevarria made.